iPhone 4 screen replacement. You can tell the iPhone 4 by the lack of a, a line there. It's for grounding for your aerial antenna. And also the top. Yep. And the top, top here. We'll also start by removing the two pentalobes using our pentalobe screwdriver. Sometimes they are a Phillips head and not a pentalobe, depending on the manufacturing batch. Slide your iPhone back screen forward and release. We're undoing all the visible screws. There, there, here, 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 and there's also another hidden one here. Begin by move, removing the battery. Using a prying tool, you can tell that this phone's been serviced by the lack of a, a battery tab. Move the battery and remove the battery ground. Proceed to undo all the uh, Phillips head, Phillips screws. Use tweezers when you can. This one is particularly long because it has a Wi-Fi, um, secures the board to the frame and has a Wi-Fi component. Which you can off the metal. Undo the dock connector, uh, connector. Peel back the flex cable and you'll see a hidden screw. Undo that Phillips screw. Take your plastic picker. Unlatch the connectors. Being careful of these three in particular. So then we'll then try not to touch the, connect the gold connectors. Remove the rear camera. Undo your SIM card. And you will see that there is a, a flathead screw. Proceed to remove that. Please use proper tools. <laughs> You can please use tweezers and uh, undo this connection. Be careful of that blue coil. Now you're ready to remove the lodge board. Make sure there's nothing in the way. Pull your lodge board out. Now you have a uh, the speaker box and remove the vibration component from the, the phone. Here, we have four corner screws, one there, one here, one here, and there, and six side screws that hold the frame, the screen, against the board. Undo them. The screws are missing on this one, you'll see four. Now undo the, the six side screws with washers on them. You do not have to remove all of them, but it's highly advisable for beginners. Experienced technicians can just do one and a half turns. When everything's uh, unscrewed, just do a quick double check as you can damage the LCD. Take a thin prying tool, wedge it between the screen and the the, ch the chassis and undo the adhesives. Now pull through the LCD and the digitizer cable through the, through the chassis, being gentle. There it is, your screen's off. Prepare your new screen. Okay, so this, this is what an open iPhone looks like with the different components. Then this is a new screen. Yeah. You'll see that you have to remove any um, manufacturer's seals. Peel the back LCD as it can cause overheating. When you're ready, make sure that the flex cable is clear and pull through the frame. So again, 
that hole, pull through the LCD and the flex cables through and make sure that all the forks on the screen part come through and the inside of the washers. It's not necessary but it will provide a better finish. Proceed to secure the six side screws. The experienced technicians may want to go ahead and test the board and the screen before assembling everything together. And the four corner screws. Now always remember to wear anti-static band either around your wrists or in this case around the ankles depending on your workstation. Start off, place the vibration module back onto the chassis. Please be aware that the smaller screw goes to the right of the vibration module towards to the left side of the phone. And the larger one goes near the headphone jack. Proceed to place the speaker box. Keep in mind all four prongs must be present when you place it in. Wedging it prongs first against the chassis. So all four of them are contacting the chassis nice and tightly. If some of them do break, you will experience a loss in cellular reception. Next, make sure all your cables away from where the board used to sit as we're going to be placing it back in. You might see that rubber bit fall off. You do not need that, but it's good to have as it protects the LCD and digitized effects cables. Place it in, gold pin first, against the north side of the phone. Before that, keep in mind that you'll be pressing against the LCD and digitizer cable, so for inexperienced repairs, you may want to fold the cable first towards on the inside of the phone. Placing the logic board back into the chassis. Make sure that these indicators, these little pins are metal as uh, they are part of the board and it shows that you're Logic board is indeed flush against the board. There are two, there are one there. There's also one over there it is. Over there. Make sure you flush against the chassis and proceed to screw in the other side of the speaker box. Next is highly advisable to um, screw in your flathead as it secures the rest of the side of the board against the chassis. appropriate tools. Next, we'll return the rear camera back into position. Pick it up from its sides. you notice that the rear camera has a plastic bit sticking out that helps with the grounding. Place it against the board as such and connect it. You do not have to just be wary of the camera lens. You do not want to touch that. Next, Place the volume, the power, and the front camera flex cables onto the board. Then the digitizer, the LCD. Make sure they're nice and tight. If your part did not come with foam tape, uh, you may experience uh, screen blacking out uh, after a small drop. Next, on the south side of the phone, you'll see that there's a little radio connector that we disconnected that is a part of the aerial cable attached to the speaker box. Please be careful and attach it to attach that end to the board over here, the radio connector. Please be careful as this connection is very delicate and can bend inwards, result in resulting in turning your iPhone into an iPod. And that that's secure. Please fold your connector flex over onto the board press firmly. Next, put the shield back on, 
mind you, this is the shield with the large, uh, large screw involved. This is very important for your Wi-Fi reception to be good. And, uh, as in this case, that part, which belongs right there, can't fall off. It does clip on, and the loss of that part will result in lower uh, Wi-Fi reception. In case that it falls out, feel free to pop it back on. Now, place. One thing to note for the shield is that you will see these two hooks there. They clamp onto the frame of the phone, which are located here and here. Try to clamp, try to clamp them on so that your shield is flush against the board. Place your long screw in and fasten it securely. Put the rest moving down the board. Place the dock connector and shield over the dock connector. All the shields are designed so that it reduces interference and prevents the cable from unplugging itself. Place the battery ground on top of the reception, the cellular reception connection and over the battery screw, the first screw you remove inside the phone. Next, place your battery connector in first. Mind you, there is a fold on the battery. Please be careful and don't rip that connection. Place the connection in first, nice and securely, before folding the battery inwards. Then, secure the battery. That's what your phone should look like after full assembly. Place the back shield in, slide it back down, and secure the two panels. Place the SIM tray into the board and if you've done everything correctly it should click in.